Baker, Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network, 9 a.m. market update. And we're looking at the Dow futures. They're up uh, 21 points. Uh, they were much stronger, uh, very much stronger overnight and early this morning. Uh, it's really struggling. Looking at the ES, so that's the um, S&P mini, that's um, up 18 at 51.10. Had a, it's just been making lower lows and lower highs. We'll see if there's a bounce today. It's certainly the market deserves a bounce. That's all I can say at this particular point. If you look at the NQ, that is the um, NASDAQ futures, they're up a little bit more. They're up 0.3%. That's good, up 53 uh, points at 17,922. Uh, also making lower lows and lower highs. We're watching those weekly charts, and it's going to be very important on Friday where we close. But in the meantime, nice bounce unfolding. If you're looking at the uh, RTY, that's the Russell futures, uh, they've gone right down to the 200 period moving average today. They're rallying a little bit up 670 at 1989. But we need to go to gold because gold is holding just so steady because of that, the Middle East conflagration. Uh, minus five, minus six at 2401. Nicely above the nine period moving average and the nines over the 14. That's all very good action. Looking at the dollar, isn't this fascinating? The dollar is uh, down only 11 ticks at 106.25. At the higher end of the the range, so these are two separate things, but they actually have the same common denominator, which is geopolitical uh, uh, nervousness, and that's what the current U.S. currency, the dollar, is the go-to uh, currency. And then we got to look at bonds, and bonds have just been on a tear to the downside, a little higher today, up seven thirty seconds. Ah. But there's a, there's a lot to happen uh, if you want to see those bonds turn positive going above the 14-period uh, moving average. That would take it to 117. That's a long way to go in this environment because the Fed has said we're still worried about inflation. Crude oil. Crude oil at this particular stage is down a dollar uh, at 84.31, starting to make slightly lower lows and lower highs. We're watching this really carefully because that 83 to 82 level support this week is going to be imperative to hold. I'll be back in a moment for uh, Tommy's show. That is Morning Market Kickoff. See you in a few moments. Don't forget, my show is at 10 o'clock. The Tiger Technicians Hour, my service is the opening call. See you in a few moments for two hours of exciting market action.